Hello and welcome everyone to a new video here on my channel with a new vehicle of the Russian armed forces and this time we have more or less the equivalent to the American made Humvee this is the Tiger vehicle um, yeah it's it's mostly used for transport of personnel and yeah I think there's nothing really spectacular to show on the outside so let's just hop in hope that our fellow American comrades will join inside the vehicle yeah through the door because why not right so you can see you can fit five people in the back and they are all too lazy to close the rear doors so I'll just do that for them Let's check out the vehicle options before we go real quick. So we can go to vehicle livery menu. You might have guessed it because the tiger next to us uh, is already wearing a camouflage texture, which uh, is in line with the BTR camo you can see over there. Um, let's go to vehicle mod menu. You can already see um, the option is called add weapon station. So naturally, we can add a weapon station, one in plain green to fit with the other livery and one camouflage. So they are, they are identical except for the texture. Um, and another option, and that's the only other option, is equipment. This adds um, ammunition boxes and fuel canisters in the interior of the vehicle. You can see it by looking through the windows and this rope on the hood right here. All right. So let's take this one for a drive. So um, usually because the weapon is only a mod option you can still choose your normal drive-by weapons, sticky bombs, weapons, everything else. So um, yeah, with the weapon wheel you can choose to operate the gun turret. Not quite sure why my game is this laggy right now, but... So this is uh, the interior, um, we have some working uh, dashboard thingies, the speedometer for example. <clears throat> working mirrors as well. I know that's just a minor thing, but at least it's there. Driving and aiming with the controller is not exactly <laughs> that easy. <laughs> Right, let's switch to nighttime real quick. There's nothing really fancy about this at night, except you have the lights working, but I think that should be a given. Um, let me fix the vehicle so 
all the lights are working properly. Um, you can turn on the extra lights. Again, nothing really too fancy. Let's take a look here in the interior. You can see the dashboard is uh, lit up as well. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Excuse me, coming through. So brake lights are working and when we reverse, reverse lights are working as well. So basically all the standard GTA features. Again, nothing extraordinary, but I'm just showing you this vehicle has them. All right, and that's basically all there is to it. Let's switch to daytime for the final look around. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, this vehicle is finished, so um, when the video is up, you can actually expect the download link in the description. At least I think so. Um, maybe I'll find something game-breaking, but I don't think so. No, no. I really had to fight to get the vehicle layout right, but apart from that, uh, it was finished for, I don't know, two days or so. So, um, yeah, this will be basically uploaded right when I upload the video. So, yeah, hope you'll enjoy the download, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching, take care, see you next time, bye bye.